Well, it's Tuesday afternoon. <coughs> it's, uh, I was here Monday, yesterday, setting up more stuff that everything I pulled from Fredericksburg Trade Day booth brought over here to Warrington. And, uh, well, I filled this baby up, boy. We got all kinds of stuff in here, but I ain't been video, you know, recording any of it, showing any of it. Cause I've been just too busy. And yesterday it rained and nasty and, but I've stayed busy and, and I sold a few things yesterday, just a few, two things. And today, first thing I sold, I opened up, first thing I sold was my traffic light. Boy, I, that made my day, boy. Whew. And uh, we've really had a pretty good day so far without the traffic light sale. But, but yeah, I'll show you around what it looks like. It's a lot different today. We think it's cold down here, but it's really not that bad. And tomorrow's supposed to be down the 50s and maybe upper 40s. And then after that, back in the 80s. So, so we'll show you around and uh, show you what my booth looks like. Just standing out by the highway, looking in. I got, got a lot of stuff in my booth. I hope you can hear that because of the wind. That goes all the way back there to the fence. There's, there's all my cast iron. All my good cast iron. And here's the not so good cast iron. It all needs redone, cleaned, and stuff. But and there's this nice little parlor table. Look at this. This, this cabinet's eight feet tall. Look at that baby. It's way up there. And then we have this little rough cabinet there. Iron wheel. Rocking horse. There's Hames horse collar and Hames mirror. There's that brass bladed fan, A and W mug. All kinds of goodies. Cowboy boots. More cowboy boots. Big old butter churn. How are you today? Yeah. Brett's cutter. Umbrella stand, vintage, old, antique. Look at these uh, old lamps. Right there. Yeah. Another cabinet, big old white cabinet. Long, long burger baskets. There's all my Watts wear really proud of buying now I'm not so good only sold one piece in a year not a lot. more stuff other stained windows I made the frame for all them because they were all floppy and everything wasn't worth a hoot there's that writing desk or you know blankets quilts Look at that. That's where I've been setting and I've been covering up with a quilt. Now, uh, that's bad. There's my knives and, and holsters, chair, more linens, tablecloths, and all kinds of goodies. There's them old doors, saws, crock, all kinds of odds and ends stuff. Stove, saddle, trunk. Pull 
pulleys and stuff, fishing poles, lawn chairs. Oh, the wind must really come up and blow that stuff over. Look at this ladder, 10 footer. An old saddle, windmill. cream chairs here there's that look at it's got water in it been raining uh, down through here down through there got my little two-wheel cart over here, my sulky cart, double wash tub, rocks, cans, more cans, more old saddles, uh, fire hydrant, old grinder, seat. That's looking forward out of here. There's the old windmill going now, by golly. Calf iron kettle. Yep. Purses, trunk, a mixer, table, more pottery. How are you today? Wednesday morning, October the 19th, I think. Uh, I didn't do no closing light yesterday, but I did a little filming, not much. Uh, I got here this morning a little bit on the later side than I normally do, about, oh, only 15 minutes later, half hour. But while I was opening, trying to open, I sold my wire baskets, my big heavy duty wire baskets, Lady bought both. I got three, but one of them I'm using for a fishing pole, you know, holder. And I'd sell it, but it's got a big bin in it, so not too desirable. But I sold the two good ones. And uh, I think I only got one or two left at home that are good. And I got one, another one that's bent bad. But uh, so I was setting on trying to set up, and, and I had that chest little treasure chest thing and sold it and then uh you know finished setting up got things set out and haven't too much changed but we'll give you a small walk around just a short one because you know you've already seen it all yesterday and i sold stuff but you can't tell so we'll just give it a little walk around i brought my stand today i want to try to set this phone on stand you Record a little bit of some of the activity if I get it done. We'll see. There's the front. Got a lot of interest in the little sleigh, but they nobody wants to buy it. Got my big wheel there and all that. I move around. I move it every every day. You know, change things around. Keep keep it interesting that way. So, see, my booth pretty good size. It runs clear back there. There's my truck. Still got that big cabinet. Got my chaps out. Got all my calf iron. Didn't sell any calf iron yesterday. Had a lot of interest, but nobody bought any. All we did talk about it, and that's fine. Still got my big old big my def my fan, brass bladed fan, and boots, belts. All the way down through here. I just keep moving things around. Trying to get it to fit better. 
but yesterday for some reason I sold all my oh uh bread pans the glass ones I know I had them reasonably priced but I've sold out of them I'm gonna have to find some more <laughs> doubt it I'm trying to get out of this kind of stuff but look I just keep buying it bad habit that and all the quilts I, I don't know why I buy quilts but I got my knives out so hopefully sell some of them today and gun holsters saddle big old ladder wind ain't blowing today that thing's not moving so I got all this stuff yet I hadn't sold anything out of here yet oh see the wind blew my chair over we'll go pick them up but We'll see what we can do by, there's that chest in the back of my truck I sold, they coming back for it. But we'll see. Well, towards the end of the day, we would sold a few things. Pretty quiet around here. I've been sitting here for over an hour, not too much, not sold anything. It is what it is, think about closing the doors. Well, Thursday morning, October 20th. Over here at Warrington. And uh, it was uh, around 10 o'clock, well, after 10. Made my first sale finally. Boy, the day was going to be bad. Tuesday, Wednesday, we had good days. I mean, good days. I figured Thursday would be really good going on the weekend, but so far, all I did made a $5 sale. Whoopee. So, we'll have to hopefully get a little better. Well, there are not that many people walking around yet either. But like yesterday morning, Wednesday, or Wednesday and Tuesday morning, 2, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I was hammered. There's other dealers, though, probably. And, and uh, my stuff is cheap enough, they just buying it up. So, let's see if. Hopefully, get some people in here today. See what happens. Yeah, see, it's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet down through there. Uh, don't see too many people walking around over there. Walk out here, look down the highway. Yeah, see there? Not too much going on. Everybody's open up through there. Oh, I'm glad the church is open today. I'm gonna get me some barbecue sandwich. But, yep, ain't much going on today. Beautiful weather though. Couldn't have for better weather. So we'll keep in touch. Well, it's Friday. Already 10.30. Have my first customer sold some Christmas ornaments been open since 8 o'clock for Friday that's terrible so hopefully it picks up I tell you it's not looking good and already 1030 I only made one sale so ain't no use giving you a walk around because none of it's changed so we might look out up and down the street, see if anything's happening. Supposed to be uh, breezy today. And windy tomorrow and Sunday. Yeah, there's no activity. There's nobody around. Hopefully they come in after lunch. Or... Yeah, there's starting to be a line of cars. So, that and breezy. You can probably hear that on the phone. They're looking down through my stuff. Sold my big pot at the end of the day. That was sitting right here on the end. I have a good, good sale yesterday. About the only sale.
heard what you need. Yeah, you know why I'm looking at that. <laughs> yeah. I figured somebody that run run a Photoshop or something would. Well, for kids. Yeah, pick it up for. Photo well, my good self for the day is this right here. I sold that little car. How are you today? Had did have Santa Claus here looking at this. Really, he plays Santa Claus and he's looking at it for photo shoots. We couldn't come together on private, but he said he might be back. I came down on my private bit. But I moved around a little bit this afternoon when I wasn't doing anything and brought my big ladder, my 10 foot ladder and hung quilts on it out here in front. It didn't help. Nobody's looked at them. So hopefully better luck tomorrow. I've still got an hour and a half, two hours here, so. A lot of people talking about my cast iron, but nobody's buying. One lady told me I was ridiculous on my prices. So I told her, I said, well, this wasn't a garage sale. Maybe better luck tomorrow or later today. Well, Saturday morning, what do you think, Shelly? I hope we sell. Hope yet so, huh? Yeah. That's why we're here. Shelly looks so excited to be here, don't aren't you? Yeah, I'm in a shop. What? <laughs> You gonna leave me hanging? Yeah, uh, we're, you know, look how busy we are. Yesterday wasn't a very good day. I mean, this show been tough all the way around. I had two really good days of my, my starting time. You had a pretty decent weekend last weekend, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, I had better in the spring. Yeah. So hopefully today, this is Saturday, the, the middle Saturday of the show, so. So hopefully it gets busy. We haven't moved much, so ain't no use walking around showing it to you. It all looks the same. I might move things around a little bit, but other than that, about looks the same. Haven't sold anything out here. Had a lot of lookers, but nobody wants to buy. I did sell my, I don't know, coffee table cart deal yesterday that set out here. But traffic's starting to roll in down through here. And not everybody opened up yet. But getting there. I'll be glad to see bumper to bumper and the sidewalk packed clear full of people. I mean, we might sell something. Hard to sell anything when there's nobody around. There, I have a fairly good sized booth, so I got a lot of merchandise. I did bring my big old step ladder out. I probably showed that yesterday and put it out here and hang up quilts so you can see them from the highway. And the wind below one, so I will get off of here. Well, 4.30 on Saturday, starting to wind down. Boy, this morning, it, it started off tough. I didn't know what, how, I didn't think we were going to have a very good day, but we'll talk to the boss here, shall we? What do you think today turned out a lot better than you thought? A lot better. Uh, let's see that facial expression again. A lot better. <laughs> Look at that grin. Yeah. Yeah, we sold some pretty good stuff, and hopefully just for a little bit more before the end of the day because we usually close up at five but you know if there's, there's still people around we'll stay open sold some good cast iron sold can't tell i sold any pieces but the little square egg skillet the griswold egg skillet i sold i sold my number eight griswold sold my fry uh my griefless skillet sold a dutch oven so quite a bit cast iron today. Can't tell it. Oh, there's my little squirrel. He's knocked over and hid. Sold some quilts. So quite a little bit. 
It's starting to do okay. Sold my cooler, western looking cooler. I've still got a lot of stuff. Okay. Yep. We'll just keep plugging along here. I'm waiting for end of the day. I'm tired. Well, it's Sunday morning. And uh, we're over here at Warrington. I already sold some stuff. First thing this morning, we no more pulled in. People, a couple guys walked up and bought some chairs from me. Made Shelly really happy because we've had them chairs for a long time. And uh, sold a cast iron skillet lid this morning. And that's it. But hey, we made some sales already this morning. And uh, yesterday turned out to be a lot better day. Man, yesterday morning, I just knew we wouldn't make a couple hundred dollars. But, oh, did it turned around in the afternoon. And uh, so we uh, did really well. And uh, hopefully today we do good. Because what day is it, Shelly? It's Dan's birthday. Oh, my birthday. Turned 49 again today. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what it does. Hopefully it turns out to be a good day. And uh, hopefully we'll do a little recording today. I didn't. I should have had it on my tripod yesterday because we, yesterday afternoon, this place was hopping now. I mean, hopping. I was making deals and we've gotten stuff loose. Can't tell it because I brought so much, but hey, we sold a lot. We'll keep in touch. I think the neighbor's bored. We've got sitting on a chair, bent over with a chair on top of him. Young, this younger generation, I just don't know about them anymore. Yeah. Oh, there you I think he's bored. You're gonna look this way. <laughs> he's waving. <laughs> Well, Friday morning, heck, it's already 10 o'clock, I think. Haven't opened up because of the weather. And uh, both get a lot worse, and let's hope it don't, but I'm here to make sure everything stays in place. We'll just kind of give you a look around. Yeah, nobody's open. A few people got their kind of open, but I think he's closing back up. But it's getting ready to hit us hard. And I'm getting inside before I get too wet. This lady is out there blowing bubbles in the rain. It's bad they're making them all, it's making, the bubbles are making it all the way over here. What a, what a heck of a day, how it's been a Friday. Sitting in my tent, can't sell anything. There's no customer to speak of. I can't open up because it's raining. Well, it should be over pretty soon, but it showed that the hard stuff hasn't hit yet. There's still people walking around, but I just can't, I can't untarp, not in this stuff. Nobody over there is open. You look all the way down through there. Very few people are open. There's my big blue tarp right there. I got my corners open. Not much. Church is open. I have me a barbecue sandwich. Lunchtime. I hope. I hope they don't close up. Oh, I'm shakier and shaky. Can't hold this thing still for nothing. Well, 
Starting to rain a little harder. I think we're about to get hit. Boy, it's really raining now. I don't know if you can see it. I have water running through my boot. Get deeper all the time. I don't know. Well, it's Saturday, October what, 29th, 30th? What is day? Something like that. But anyway, look, I'm wearing a coat. Started off this show with short sleeve shirt and shorts, t shirt, you know. Now it's windy and cold. It rained all day yesterday. So, but this is my last felling day here. Thank goodness. It's been a long show. All kinds of different weather and stuff. Hopefully, it's both warm up today a little bit, but I don't know. With it being windy and I'm under a couple shade trees. It's pretty cool. So hopefully we have some people show up. I got some people walking in now. Oh. Yeah, I'm watching them. Oh, they're looking at quilts. Imagine that. We'll look at them. Only two customers I had. It's already ten o'clock. They're just looking. Well, it's Monday, Monday morning, Halloween day, October 31st, uh, the Warrington Round Top, Round Top Warrington, however you want to call it, is over. We spent all day yesterday packing stuff up and took the enclosed trailer home and uh, I come back here to finish cleaning up everything and hopefully have everything home today taking a lot home but we sold a lot we did end up being a pretty good show always always want better always want to sell more but really turned out to be a real good show for the way everything is nowadays so i cannot complain and uh i'll give you a little walk around and show you what's left and what i got to do this is looking up through my tent. This is the leftover stuff from yet. We didn't get in the enclosed trailer. And, uh, just, some, you know, my chairs and just some odds and ends stuff. Shelly, I was getting ready to load that up, and Shelly told me she kind of want to keep that, put it in our, little, our third guest bedroom. And I'm going to take another piece of furniture out of there, of course, but or else it would have been on the trailer. And just got that stuff there, it was junk really, but price cheap. Still didn't get rid of that thing. That thing there, I'd be so happy to see that go. And a coffee table, it ain't much. I didn't want to put it on the trailer, take it to Fredericksburg. You know, it's just one of them things. And that's here, just my tarps and stuff, you know, supplies. Here's my trailer. I got I got to put everything out that's in there on there or in the back of my truck. So there it is. I really surprised I didn't sell my uh, windmill. I knew I wouldn't sell that, but I think on my fire hydrant, I think I sold it on Craigslist. Guys supposed to come pick it up at the house if I didn't sell it here. So oh, I hope he does show up. I've had that way too long. 
Uh, but other than that, that's it. Like I said, the show was, you know, wasn't extremely profitable, but we did okay. You cannot complain. I just, when it comes loading up, I just wish I sold more <laughs> so I don't have to load it. But I'm going to get this all put on and, and work that stuff in the truck. And I'll take a picture of it or something like that before I leave here. Well, made it home. Well, about 10.30, Monday morning. So, well, it wasn't a bad trip at all. But uh, I'll show you my load. Leftovers from Round Top Warrington Antique Show. Like I said, though, we did really well. well I'll show you the load. Only got three of them wire baskets left that are good, and I got three that aren't so good. Got my windmill, got the door. Didn't sell my cast iron sink, corner sink. All kinds of goodies in there. I don't know if I mentioned, I think I have that sold on Craigslist. And there it is. I picked this up off the highway on the way home. The kitchen utility cart oh sand that all down repaint it red and paint the the uh, legs white there's the, that there so there it is made it home and get around here if you uh like this kind of stuff uh hit that like button and uh, if you really like it, hit that uh, subscribe button. I need the subscribers. It's my nose. Imagine that. But, uh, yeah, we definitely need the subscribers. Don't cost you anything. And uh, if you want to get notified when we put another one up, hit that bell and you get notified. And uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to head to an Amish auction. And we'll make a... Uh, one of that. We'll try to record some of that. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.